What's up, Wrath Gang? It's Wrath in the Wrath Cave. Welcome back to another video. So, y'all know PS5 Pro was announced a few days ago, and the whole world is in shock and uh, uproar about the price of $699. I was not in shock at all because I knew the price of a high end, powerful console will be higher than the PS5, obviously. But when we're talking about a new GPU, new ray tracing, new upscaling, more terabyte of storage, it's going to be more expensive. So for the $200 more, it's way worth it. It's crazy. I don't understand. And you got cell phones and out there for $1,500. People get it every two years or every year probably. And you have these high-end PC graphics cards that are multi, multi hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's just for the GPU. And you got all this other stuff in PC parts. That's crazy. I don't even want to get into the money pit of a PC. That's different. I That's why I love consoles. One console for multi-years of use and high-quality graphics and gameplay. I don't have to worry about upgrading parts. So that being said, for me, console, one love, always, from day one to day forever. Console, maybe a hybrid console PC in the future. I, th I think... Microsoft is building some kind of hybrid PC console for the next generation for the cloud gaming and all these things. That's another story. But for me, I was watching the the, the, the nine-minute press conference thing, and we all knew it was a PS5 Pro announcement. But the two minutes of the PlayStation, yeah, we know all that stuff. And then they start, started showing some comparisons, which, you know, we see these comparison videos on YouTube, which is highly compressed, and you're like, what's the difference again? You know, well, you're not going to see it on a compressed YouTube video, even at 4K, which this is right here. You're not going to be able to see it. You have to be in front of it, compare to get the detail upgrades, which I am looking forward to. Now, for me, I've always chosen quality graphics mode over pre uh, preference or performance mode, because for me, I want to see incredible visuals. Frame rate for me is not important. Unless it's a fighting game. That's different. Mortal Kombat 1, obviously, you got to have 60 frames. That's, that's number one for fighting games. But for action games and, 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 and be, you know, shooters, for me, shooters, is that's a different story as well. Shooters definitely have to be 60. But I'm talking about third-person action games, single-player games, which I normally love and, and pretty much high priority on my list. Those are the kind of games I play. So for me, I wanted to get the best visuals, but also have the high frame rate now with the, with the beefy console. So for me, it's, it's the best of both worlds. I'm going to keep my high-end graphics, which are going to be better, actually, with the PS5 Pro. And now I'm going to bump that frame rate up to 60, which everybody loves because they choose performance. Three-quarters of everybody is choosing performance over quality. So for me, that's it's a perfect console for me. I get the best of both worlds. But now also for the, the small majority of of TV owners out there, I do have an 8K TV. I have two 8K TVs in my raft cave, so I want to get the best visuals, visuals I can. So obviously I want to get the best, beefiest console. And we all know that the PlayStation 5 was supposed to have 8K. It had the 8K symbol on the, on the box, which they removed. But now they're going to actually have 8K games on the PS5 Pro confirmed Gran Turismo will be in 8K. Now, we don't know what frame rate, we don't know what ray tracing, but it will have an 8K mode, which I'm very excited to see. That's going to be very cool. Now, we get into the, the bad part of the no disk drive, right? No disk drive, for me, <laughs> right, for the small majority out there, I have moved away from physical media with DVDs, which I loved. I had a huge collection, thousands of DVDs. And they went to Blu-ray, and I was like, oh, cool, great for you, higher technology, higher bit rate. And I started collecting those. I'm like, wait a minute. I already have these movies. Why am I buying them again? Oh my God. More room. I have to make more room. I have to sell and make more. Okay. I had a little small connection. And all of a sudden now 4Ks came out. I'm like, oh, here we go again. Right. And then the streaming and the, the, and the technology has risen. The quality has risen. Internet speeds have risen. I've gone digital for me. Digital is absolutely fine. Which is why for me, these are the only three console games, the, the only three physical media I have, which actually no, these are the only two physical media 
games that I bought for my PlayStation 5. And these are at launch. Two. And of course, with the Spider-Man Collector's Edition, they gave you a digital code. The signs were there, guys. Digital is the way to go. I've always loved digital. The convenience of clicking a button and the game, the game starts playing versus spinning up a disc where it can get scratched. And I worry about having, I own the copy. Like, Cool. Right? So not having a disk drive is not important to me. And having the fact that you can add a disk drive if you need it is fantastic. Great. It's always there. You want a disk drive? Great. Go ahead and add it on. Cool. Then you can play your games on. For me, digital all the way. So 95% of all my games are digital. So it's awesome for me. Love the graphical upgrade. Love what they're going to be able to do in the future of gaming. For Assassin's Creed Shadows, which I'm very excited for, and I'm going to get the uh, gold, legendary edition, whatever it's called, ultimate launch game for the Fiat PS5 Pro and confirmed to be enhanced at launch. Already confirmed. So Assassin's Creed Shadows will be a PS5 Pro enhanced. I can't wait. So I'm very excited. Now, as far as if I'm going to sell my PS5, I haven't decided it yet. I might just move my PS5 to another room in the house. And I have my disk drive right there. So I'm ready. Now, PS5 Pro has been teased for almost a year now. I think the, the, the leaks were up a year ago. Something like that. A long ass time ago. So from that point, I was like, okay. They're thinking about bringing a mid-refresh console like they did with the PS5 Pro. I'm going to start saving my money. So I put a little bit of money aside for months. So when the price came out, boom, I'm going to be ready. In fact, it's, it's another two months from now it's going to be coming out. So there's even more time to save. So if you haven't been saving for the potential upgrade of a new console, you know what I mean? And of course, you can sell your PS5, and it's going to be easier that way anyway. But so you know me. I'm going to get it day one. I'm going to live stream PS5 Pro games in 4K60 so you guys can see the highest quality of PlayStation games on the Rafkeef channel. So that's going to be great for you guys. And I'm going to enjoy it, of course, on my 8K TV where I can see the maximum potential of the PS5 Pro on my high-end Samsung 8K TV. Can't wait. Can't wait. Brings me to my next thing, guys. When we go to the uh, <clears throat> the PlayStation uh, blog, which I looked at right away, and it was awesome getting some nitty-gritty details. What has changed today is all pre-orders starting September 26th, which was the original pre-order date, will only be on PlayStation Direct for two weeks. You can only pre-order the console on PlayStation Direct, directplaystation.com. And why is that, guys? We all know the scalpers out there and the bots are going to gobble up all the systems on pre-order from all the different retailers and try to sell them at a higher price and drive up demand and all stuff. So Sony learned. They did this with Spider-Man Collector's Edition, which I bought. But this way, if you want it, guaranteed, of course, it's going to be right here in PlayStation.com, and they're going to funnel through all the garbage bots and AI scalpers, wherever they are out there, to give us real customers the chance to get it, pre-order it. The only downfall of that, of course, is going to be a shipping thing. So... Hopefully it's next day shipping, right? That'd be great, PlayStation, if you could just auto automatically give us next day shipping. Now, it's only in certain countries as well. Not every country is going to have the, the, the direct PlayStation.com. So I think for you guys, you're going to be able to go to retailers on the 26th. For U.S., definitely going to be here. So that being said, you guarantee one, um, and it's hopefully shipped very fast. So you're not waiting too long after November 7th when it launches. If you don't want to do the direct PlayStation that says you can uh, pre-order from all your stores on October 10th. So there's that. So I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Because for me, you know, Assassin's Creed Shadows comes out on the 14th. And you get it three days early. So the 11th. So if it ships the 7th, maybe I'll get it 11th or 12th. It's all good. So no matter what, I'll get it in time for the launch of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Can't wait for that day one play for that. It's going to be great. Now, 
So back to this. The console looks great. It looks very similar to the PS5. Uh, so I like the little three accents there. Hopefully you have some nice LED lights that are a little bit brighter that shine through the console and also through the top three slits. Some blue accents. That would be really cool. Actually, let's play this real quick. See? Yeah. See that? The blue accent, I think. It looks a little better than the PS5 console. Yeah, no no vertical stand. I mean, I don't know why you would you would vertically mount your console anyway, because that's just crazy. I mean, there's a thing called gravity, and discs will generally want to slide down, and that's a whole garbage mess. I've never vertically mounted any of my consoles in the history of my entire life. I don't know why you do that. For space concerns, I guess, if you have to, but let's be realistic. Consoles lay flat horizontal the way they should be. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, so vertical vertical stand. Hey, if you need it, you can buy it. But uh, lay your consoles flat the way they should be. Uh, very excited for the ray tracing. Love ray tracing uh, for gaming. If I can, uh, if sure I can, if I can add ray tracing, I absolutely do. Which normally happens when you pick uh, the graphics mode. Uh, but yeah, upgrade a CP, uh, GPU, a CPU. Well, CPU is the same. So hopefully maybe they can overclock it a little bit by the software update. I don't know if they can do that. But gaming really demands a hard, uh, a larger GPU, more powerful GPU. CPU is there for certain C, you know, CPU, CPU heavy games, but majority is you want a beefy graphics card to give you the high-end graphics that you, that you want. And the upscaling is going to be super cool. PSSR, even if it's at a 1440 with this tech, it's going to look 4K. And if, if you want to get 8K, maybe upscale to 8K. Crazy. We'll see. Uh, the console looks fine to me. And you can get uh, different colored face plates, of course. They'll have those as well. I'm not sure if our old... No, probably not. I think maybe the slim console face plate will work for it, but not the OG PS5s. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, it'll boost all the other you know PS5 games. The list will grow and grow every, every day. And future gaming for PlayStation is going to be crazy. I can't wait. For some of the future games coming out now for PS5 on the Pro, it's gonna be amazing. Wi-Fi 7, guys, the highest Wi-Fi speeds available if you have a high-end router with Wi-Fi 7, bam. But also two terabytes, which is awesome. Two terabytes built in, and those things aren't cheap either. Hundreds of dollars for high-end storage units. So it looks fantastic. Lay that down horizontal. Where's mine? Yeah, there's your disk drive. Do you guys want the disk drive? Get out of here. Get out of here. If you guys want the disk drive, there it is. Right? You just pop off the cover, slap the drive in there, and then there you go. Right? And if you want the little vertical ring thing, there you go. Separately. Keep the price of the console down. If you need it, there you go. There's my console. Horizontal. Bam, it's going to go right there. Perfect. I already have space for it. It's fantastic. Yep, $699, of course. It's going to be higher in some other countries. Sorry for that. But two terabyte controller and a copy of Astro's Playroom. Now, is that the new Astro Playroom that just came out or is that the old game? If it's the new game, that's another 60 bucks built in right there. I hope so. So I really wanted to get that game, and I'm excited to play it. That would be really cool. If that's the new Astro Playroom, that is huge. It just comes with it. Wow. Love that. Love that. So, yeah, there it is, guys. Launches November 7th. Pre-orders begin September 26th on directplaystation.com, October 10th for everyone else. And, yeah, the best PlayStation console. The most powerful PlayStation console ever. Very excited. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my little rant, my little talk, and why I'm definitely excited to get it. And hopefully we'll get some more game footage at the Tokyo Game Show later this month. Hopefully. Because I know we saw what they can do for the, the older PS5 games. But definitely we really want to see what it's going to do for the future.
PlayStation games. And that's really going to be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, welcome to my channel. Home theater rules. Raph out. See ya.